Hey everybody, it's Steve Cook with Premier Guitar and PremierGuitar.com. Today we are taking a look at the Sans Amp Tech 21, Tech 21 and Sans Amp GED 2112. No, it's not 2112, it's the 2112. Forgetti, Rush, look them up. I'll wait. Now we're back. Okay, now that you know, 40 years of being an extremely influential bass player. Um, just an influential band all the way around. Anyhow, so uh, Getty worked with Sans Amp, and uh, now they have his signature Model Pre. Now, a couple things. Getty hasn't used a bass amp on deck in, ooh, almost two decades. He's been using basically a preamp into, you know, power amps, and then and then, uh, and then off, you know, offstage cabs and things like that, and in-ears and whatnot. But basically, this has been his sound. Um, so what they did is they worked with Getty, and they said, okay, how can we basically get your sound, you know, without your fingers, of course, into this little single unit rack space. Well, they've come up with this. So it is a signature model pre. Uh, we're gonna go through the front panel, the back panel, and uh, it's, a little bit, it's a little bit interesting because you can't necessarily just buy this and then plug it in and play it uh, because of the output section. It's, I'm just putting a little disclaimer on it as we kind of get through this because I want you to understand. Um, some of these controls work differently in the configuration that we have as opposed to running this to two separate amplifiers. Um, it sounds confusing, it is a little confusing, but we'll get through it together. So here we are, up top, we have the input. Now the input on this, quarter inch in the front, there are also two in the back, and you can switch uh, right here on, for those quarter inch ends. And Getty did that because basically he just had two wireless units hooked up to this, grab a bass, grab a bass, you're done. All right, so this is the drive section. And the drive section is made up, of course, of drive and the mid. And we have a mid shift. And, of course, we know that mids influence overdrive pretty much more than anything else. And so um, that's why that is there, I think, as opposed to being like a normal EQ setting um, or setup. Excuse me. We have the blend knob. We have the bass control. We have the treble. And then we have the level. Now, the level control does directly affect the DI XLR on the back. So, uh, and the quarter inch. So we'll, again, we'll talk about the back in a second. This is the mute. The tuner out on the back is still active when that is muted, but that means you're on. And this is the deep section. So this is a much smaller section uh, because it's basically a pre-programmed EQ to add a little bit of uh, roundness to your tone. And then this is the level for that DI as well. And there's Getty's mug hanging out in a C of seafoam green. Okay, so the unit, again, is not just a plug and play sort of unit. Um, there are two dedicated outputs on this. There's the deep and there's the drive. So basically what you have to do is you have to run this, um, if you're gonna use this, let's say standalone, you run this on each output to a separate channel on your console. Or if you wanna use it with an amp, you have to use two amplifiers um, to, get, to use this as it is laid out. Now, the way we have it with a single amp for monitoring purposes, is our single chain is going to two different direct outs. You are def definitely hearing both channels. Um, but for me to monitor, I had to go out of one of the effect sends and then come back in. So we're sort of bypass, we're sort of doing the routing in a weird way, and I'll show you in a second. But it can be done. But what, what that does is that changes the front panel and that changes some of the features on the front. So tones are the same. It's just uh, like the blend knob doesn't become really, it becomes something different. So, so what happens is the drive knob becomes now the master volume. So. It still throws the drive in there, but. Now we're running there. The blend knob. Becomes sort of your, your drive and sort of. Get some of that tubey overdriven tone in there in conjunction with this. Okay, well, let's get to some of the tones. Okay, so I'm going to pull this all the way back. Flat EQ wash. Okay. Add a little 
sparkle. So that's not bad without the uh, without the drive on it. Now it gets a little dirty. adding some a little bit more a little bit more bite to it now you hear that saturation a little bit Let's jump over here to this section, which actually says saturation. What that is, is basically that is that preset EQ setting. And so what this is doing, this is blending your, your driven tone with the deep tone. So you're getting, you're getting the integrity of the bass, which I really like, uh, full time. And you can also um, have it by itself if you want. Let's blend a little bit of the dirty back in. Or a lot of the dirty back in. I mean, that's, that's nasty and extreme, but... The idea so the so you have a lot of the overdriven sounds that Getty's known for uh, if you listen you know my favorite thing to do is uh, one of my favorite things to do is listen to ISO tracks and you can listen to these tracks and you can hear how much dirt and grit are actually on these things they're not clean and pristine um, they are a little bit overdriven they've got a lot of mid uh, point on them and so they tried to capture that in this I think they did a great job of it um, but again buyer beware if you're looking to just plug this in and go that night you need to kind of configure it a little bit. What we're gonna do is show you on the back panel how we do just that. This is the back panel of the GED 2112. Right here we have the quarter inch tuner out. We have the XLR section for your output. This is the drive and the deep side. This is a 20 dB pad. This is our ground lift. Over here is the quarter inch output section, again divided into the drive and the deep side with the 20 dB pad. This is the unaffected quarter inch out, which means basically just bass is going to that output. This is the effects loop. And we have a 50-50 mix button, which means 50% of the signal will be sent to the effects processor and 50% will not. And then we have the dual input that we talked about before. Uh, so you can put two bases in the quarter inch inputs back here. So those are the basic, no pun intended, sorry. I didn't write it, I'm reading copy. So those are the details of the GED 2112 from Sans Amp, Tech 21. Uh, big thanks to them for the Tech 21 support uh, on getting this, getting this up and running for us. Because again, it's a little bit weird. But uh, then again, so is Rush. Just kidding. Love Rush. Um, so make sure you read the written review at Premier Guitar, PremierGuitar.com on this particular unit. Go see Rush Live. Oh, scratch that up. You can't see Rush Live anymore. Um, but you can go down to your local store, check one of these out for yourself. And while you're on our YouTube channel, subscribe, 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 because everybody does. For Premier Guitar, this is Steve Cook. We'll see you soon.
forget to sign up for PG Perks, your all-access pass to exclusive gear giveaways and discounts on PremierGuitar.com.